Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. So we are today at the 13th day of April Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is Flatten Nested List Typewriter. So the input given here is a nested list and we have to implement the methods next and has next. So here in Java, if you see the function of next and has next, the has next will return true if this list iterator has more elements when traversing the list in the forward direction. And next returns the next element in the list and advances the cursor position. So we are going to override these two methods here in order to return the numbers given in the nested list. So let's understand this problem with an example. So here is our given example. So now starting from the first element in the list, it is going to be a list again, 1 comma 1, and then an integer, and then again a list. So if you get the integers from the list, it is going to be 1, 1, 2, 1, 1. And every time we call next function, it is going to return the numbers in order. So how are we going to implement this? So we are going to get the help of stack to implement this. So here is our stack. We are first going to put the elements in the stack in reverse order. Starting from the last point in the nested list to the index 0. Why? Because we need to access the elements from the starting. So as the stack stores the element in the reverse, the first element will be at the top of the stack. So we are going to put the elements first into the stack from the reverse order. So now from reverse, it is a list. So we are going to put the list directly to our stack. And then comes an integer and again a list. So now we need to implement two methods, has next and next. So for next method, we are going to simply pop the element at the top of the stack. And if we find an integer, then we are going to return it simply. So in this case, if a next method is called, first we are going to pop the element 1 and return it. The same way as every time the next function is called, we are going to return the next integer at the top of the stack. So to implement has next, we are going to again iterate through the given stack and pop the element at the top. And if the element at the top is an integer, then return true. As it is having a next integer or next element in the list. If not, if it is empty, then return false. So there can be another case that it can either not be empty or it, not, it is not an integer value. But a list is the top element in the stack. In that case, we are simply gonna take that elements from the list and put that again to our stack. So here, when we pop the elements from stack, it is gonna be 1 comma 1. So we, we are going to check whether it is having a next integer or not. So in this case, if we find it is a list, then we are going to pop that from our list and add the elements in reverse order. So that now our stack again have 1 and 1 separated and put into the stack in the reverse order. So again, iterate the loop and take the top element in the stack. And if the element is an integer, then return true. If not, return false. So hope you are understanding this solution. So let's see the code now. So inside my nested iterator, we are going to define our data structure. So I'm going to declare my stack in common. So inside my nested iterator, I'm going to check if my nested list is empty. then simply return nothing. If not, I'm going to iterate my list and put the all elements in reverse into my stack. So now our nested iterator is done getting into our next method, we are simply going to return whatever the element is there in the top of the stack. So now it's time to write our has next method. So here I'm going to iterate till my stack is not empty. So 
here simply we are just peaking the top element in the stack if it is an integer which means we have a next integer then return true if not we are going to again pick the top list from the stack and from the reverse order we are going to put the elements of that list into our stack and finally if nothing if the stack is empty then in that case return false so yes coding is done let's run and try Let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and runs in three milliseconds. So, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.